has issued Stephen Dank with the show cause notice relating to uh, more than 30 um, questions, incidental um, procedures, um, short of an infraction notice, but seeking answers. So where they didn't use their coercive powers to interview him, they have begun formal action now. That is unmistakably Jared Whateley on AFL 360 last night discussing the news that broke last night that a show cause letter has been issued to Stephen Dank. Finally, Richard Ings, uh, used to be the president of ASADA, joins on the show. Good morning to you, Richard. And good morning, guys. What does it mean? Tell us, uh, for those who uh, aren't all that clear on these matters, what does a show cause letter actually mean? Well, as Gerard said on 360 last night, this is a this is a very, very critical step in the ASADA process. It's a mandatory part of the ASADA Act that when ASADA believes that it has sufficient evidence to warrant allegations being put to an individual, that they must issue a show cause letter. Um, and it's a very serious accusation involving apparently um, in excess of 30 different uh, charges. And those... Well, I, I can't understand why that they wouldn't have compelled him and put him up for questioning already. Well, you know, when, when you're conducting these sort of investigations, you have cases where there are individuals who are not keen to talk to you, uh, maybe are not keen to cooperate. And uh, but didn't they have? Didn't they have the? Sorry, but didn't they have the authority to compel him to speak? Well, yeah, Asada does have compulsive powers, but we need to remember that the purpose of these interviews would have been to put information in front of an individual and get their input. And if they're not prepared to do that and not prepared to cooperate, they can't be surprised that the next stage will be triggered if the SADA already has sufficient evidence to, in their view, progress. So we've heard uh, a little bit of noise that, uh, despite the action being taken, uh, that Dank still won't talk. So if he gets those questions posed to him and still decides to take a position where I'm going to give you nothing, what happens from there? Well, what's, what's happened is Asada has given the Dank Jury's attorney the opportunity to respond to the 34 allegations, and if he chooses not to respond, then Asada, in all likelihood, will progress to putting him on the Asada Register of Findings, which is the process required to trigger a sport issuing infraction notices. Um, this is an opportunity to formally respond to the allegations in either the Administrative Appeals Tribunal or, indeed, appeal to the full federal court. And... Is the timing of this a coincidence that we're on the eve of the AFL season or is there some reason why it's all being revealed now? Well, look, I think that the timing is purely coincidental. You need to remember that SADA is not looking at the AFL calendar. If SADA has sufficient evidence which ticks all the boxes and warrants the issuing of an infraction notice, whether it's six months ago, today or in six months' time, um, they will go ahead and do it. And there's... Uh, the, Suggestion is there's 34 anti-doping breaches that uh, Dank would, is involved in. Are those breaches, is that is to say they're potentially 34 players, there's 34 times that one player's done it? What does all that mean? Well, we, we, we can't draw too many conclusions until we know more detail, but it, the, the, the letter will state that there are 34 individual and separate violations, allegations of violations by SADA of breaches of anti-doping rules. Now, allegations like this can relate to matters that do not involve players at all, or they can relate to matters which, of course, could involve players. We just don't know the, the mix. Richard, what's the timeline from here? He's had this letter issued to him. How long has he got before he has to respond or go onto this register of findings that you talk about? Well, my understanding is that the, the letter gives a 10-day period in which to respond and if no response is received within 10 days, Asada will likely proceed to putting a name on the Register of Findings. And then what, what happens then? When he goes on that Register of Findings, what happens to him then? Well, once that happens, um, the individual is notified of their placement on the Register and given the opportunity to appeal that decision before the Government Administrative Appeals Tribunal and subsequently to the Federal Court. What about the, the, this is it to do with Essendon? Apparently, there, there's no issues that Dank has to face in regards to Cronulla. Is that correct? Well, that's what the media is reporting, um, that the 34 allegations of violations by SADA relate to matters concerning the Essendon Football Club. Again, we don't know all the details. Um, we don't know if there will be additional show cause letters which may go out. I think that would be extremely unusual. 
but reports are this relates purely to matters involved with the Essendon Football Club. And just based on that, of course, uh, probably we can't help but cast our minds forward about the players themselves. So, um, I mean, the players, is this a significant step for them to be, you know, concerned about? Well, this will certainly um, <clears throat> add back to the uncertainty of the players. If, if the Sada has evidence which would suggest an individual is subject to 34 allegations for actions at the Essendon Football Club, then the natural question to ask is, um, are there any players involved? And if so, or not, how many? Will, will, will at the base of this, even though it's, a, it's related to Dank, will, will any of the players, let's say they've got lawyers, could they get access to any of those particular allegations that are being put forward to Dank? No, these, these allegations are being put forward specifically to one individual and it's up to that individual to respond to the allegations. Mm -hmm. If any of those individual allegations have merit for the laying of show cause notices against an individual player, for instance, that will be a completely separate process involving that individual player and SADA at some point in the future, if at all. 34 sounds like a lot to me, Richard. The 34 mm -hmm. breach charter notices, is, is that in the nature of these things a lot? Yeah, look, I had five years working at ASADA, and over those five years, I was involved in probably the issuing of uh, over 150 show cause letters. Okay. Um, that is a very lengthy laundry list of, of allegations of potential violations. Okay, well, we've got 10 days to see what happens, or potentially 10 days to see what happens next. Uh, it continues to uh, it continues to roll on. We appreciate your expertise again. Thanks for joining us.